Roland was a key figure in Filipino martial arts, I think. Um, I met him in 1983. He was still very active in bodybuilding, had very big arms, a very friendly guy, introduced me to, to a few people. He was a, the closest friend, the compadre of Remy Presas, uh, while he was in the Philippines and also when he was in America. But Roland, through his film and acting career, um, he made friends with many, many people. Um, and he told me stories like when he played a master or a grandmaster in the movie and that was screened in the provinces and he was there that after the filming you know the real grandmasters were in front of the Simon cinema sort of so you want to be a grandmaster and he told them I'm just a medium to make you known to, to make put you in the right position where you belong so he had the ability to be friends with everybody and not offend anybody else so he was sort of um, a mediator a mediator between different styles because he have, he was friendly had good context to all styles even to styles that were, that are not fr friendly with each other through him there was some kind of, of, of joint uh, one person they both could can can talk to and and relate to, um, and that was in Germany and in, in Germany of course, but in America in the Philippines, uh, and I think he was more or less the only person because all the other people, masters, grandmasters, come out of a certain style, and of course they are for their style. That's n very normal, and he was above styles. I mean, he came up in modern Arnis, but his political s position within Arnis. Uh, uh, in the Philippines, he was not representing a style, but he was re representing the Filipino martial arts. And he, he sort of brought people together he, uh, in, in Arnis Philippines and also through the, through the camps and through the teaching he did. And also through the movies, of course, he, he made it uh, popular and made, made people aware of, of, of Filipino art and arts and stick fighting and, and, and so on. So, so um, I miss him a great deal. He was a good friend of mine. He stayed in my house uh, two or three times. Um, and um, it's a great loss that he that he got here, that he went last year. Despite you have achieved many things, despite you may be famous or you may be rich, you know, um, it doesn't make you a better person. You know, uh, every person is the same, really. And, and just letting other people feel, hey, you you as a white belt are as valuable as a sixth or seventh down is. Um, uh, and uh, I always say, just because I can swing the stick a little better than you doesn't make me. Um, better person or better character, right? I, I, everybody can do their own job better than I can do their job. So I, this is my job. I can do that perhaps a little better <laughs> than they can do my job. But this doesn't mean that, that I have the right to be arrogant to the people. And that's that, that, that he, he was very much an, a, a leading figure for, for this kind of uh, dealing with people, which, which I, I think is the right way.